President Donald Trump has declared Obamacare dead after the Republican health care bill was narrowly passed by the lower chamber of Congress. The 217-213 vote marked his first legislative victory and goes some way to keeping a key campaign promise to roll back his predecessor's law. Democrats say the American Health Care Act will leave millions uninsured. The bill now heads to the Senate, where Republicans have indicated they will cast it aside and write a new law. Protesters shouted shame on you. As lawmakers left Capitol Hill after the knife-edge vote. But there were celebrations moments later on the White House lawn, where the president laid on a reception for Republicans in the House of Representatives. Six weeks ago, their health care attempts appeared doomed when they did not have enough support to have a vote. But that bill has undergone several revisions to satisfy both the conservative and moderate wings of the Republican Party. Five Big Consequences of Trump Care Win Obama Care v. Republican Plan Compared Make no mistake, this is a repeal, said a triumphant Mr. Trump in the Rose Garden. Obamacare, he added, was essentially dead. Premiums will be coming down, deductibles will be coming down, but very importantly it's a great plan. What do you Democrats say? The Democrats think the effect of this bill would be the opposite, stripping insurance from the poor, giving tax breaks to the wealthy and casting doubt on health provisions for the chronically sick. Thousands of Americans would die because they would no longer have access to care, said Senator Bernie Sanders. Groups representing hospitals and doctors have also expressed concerns about the Republican plan, which they say has yet to be properly assessed. The ill-fated Republican bill in March would result in 24 million more Americans losing insurance within a decade. The nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office said at the time. What changed since March? One amendment added since then to placate conservatives means states can opt out of providing essential benefits such as cancer treatment and emergency room visits. And when $8 billion, 6.2 billion pounds, over five years was thrown in towards coverage for sick people who otherwise might face higher costs. Several moderate Republicans changed course and backed it. About 20 million Americans gained health care coverage under President Barack Obama's 2010 Affordable Care Act, but Republicans viewed it as an overreach of the federal government and said patients had less choice and higher premiums. The New York Attorney General said on Thursday evening that he would challenge the bill in court if it became law, on the basis that it would deny people access to care. What happens now? The bill, if it becomes law, would mark a major overhaul in the U.S. health system. But key elements could be ditched by Republican senators, who have said they will start fresh. Republican Senator Lisa Murkowski said she would like a clean slate, while Senator Bob Corker said the current bill has zero chance in the Senate. The party controls the chamber 5248, meaning it can lose no more than two Republicans in order for it to pass. If the Senate passes its own bill, the plan then goes back to the House for approval or more negotiations and amendments. Round one of the battle over Robamacare appeal is in the books. Round two is set to begin, with the opponents more powerful and the obstacles more imposing. It's worth remembering that passage of the Republican health care plan in the House of Representatives was supposed to be the easy part. House Speaker Paul Ryan had a sizable majority at his disposal and the political tools to reward support and punish transgressions. Instead the American Health Care Act's long. Laborious journey exposed divisions within the Republican Party and the limits in Donald Trump's powers of persuasion. These challenges won't disappear. The fault lines will be put under greater pressure and Mr. Trump's skills will be further tested when action heads to the Senate. Unlike the House, the Republican majority there is narrow, and already some in the party are showing misgivings about the current legislation. Democrats who have more parliamentary tricks up their sleeves, will attempt to disrupt the process at every turn. Still, a win is a win. It wasn't pretty. It may not last. But Mr. Trump and the Republican House leadership will take it. What's changed from Obamacare? 
new bill repeals the individual mandate requiring those who can afford it to have health insurance. Ditches Obamacare requirement for companies with 50 or more staff to provide insurance coverage for employees. Keep settlement allowing under 26s to stay covered on parents' policies. Enables insurers to charge at least five times as much to older customers. States can opt out of essential benefits like emergency care and cancer treatment. And they can waive the guarantee to provide health care to people with pre-existing conditions. A beaming U.S. President Donald Trump has declared Obamacare essentially dead after the House of Representatives narrowly approved his controversial plan to dismantle his predecessor Barack Obama's legacy health care program. Unfazed by protesters shouting shame on you, Trump and Republicans celebrated after the bill passed the 216 vote threshold, with just one vote to spare, something that had seemed almost impossible for the administration just days ago. Though the voting largely went as per the party lines, no Democrats backed the bill and 20 Republicans opposed it, an intense series of negotiations preceded the first step to repeal and replace Obama's landmark Affordable Care Act. Republicans passed the American Health Care Act 217 to 213, taking an important first step to fulfill a seven-year promise to replace the 2010 law. Moments later, there were celebrations on the White House lawn, where a reception was held for Republicans in the House of Representatives. Nearly 70 Republican members attended the celebration and lined up on the stairs in a photo formation. Celebrating his victory, Trump, who have campaigned relentlessly on the pledge to dismantle Obamacare, said he was doing well as president, even though he has been a politician only for a brief time. Coming from a different world and only being a politician for a short period of time. How am I doing? Am I doing, okay, I am president. Hey, I am president, do you believe it, right? He asked the lawmakers. Indian American and top healthcare official Seema Verma was seen standing in the front row along with top Republican lawmakers at the White House lawn. Verma the administrator of the Centers for Medic and Medicaid Services, described this as a big day for the U.S. She is believed to be one of the top officials working to replace Obamacare. The bill now moves to the Senate, the upper chamber of the U.S. Congress, where it is expected to face difficulties. But with House Speaker Paul Ryan by his side, Trump exuded confidence that the bill would pass through the Senate. This is really an incredible health care plan. This has brought the Republican Party together, Trump said. Premiums will be coming down, deductibles will be coming down, but very importantly it's a great plan. He described Obamacare as a catastrophe and called his own a great plan. Obamacare, he added, was essentially dead I actually think it will get even better. This is, make no mistake, this is a repeal and a replace of Obamacare, make no mistake about it, Trump said. Obamacare was signed into law by Obama on March 23, 2010. About 20 million Americans gained health care coverage under the health care program, but Republicans viewed it as an overreach of the federal government and said patients had less choice and higher premiums. Republicans say the new bill will lower premiums and deductibles and give consumers more control over their health care. But an array of opponents, including many consumer and patient advocacy groups, say this bill could leave millions facing higher health care bills and less coverage. Later in New York, during a meeting with Australian Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull, Trump continued to boast about his party's big day. He praised Australia's health care system saying they have a better health care. We're going to have great health care very soon. Right now Obamacare is failing. We passed it by a few votes, Trump told Turnbull, to which he replied, I know the feeling. We have challenges in our parliament too. Also in New York, during his first return to his hometown since taking office, Trump was greeted with protests. Hundreds of protesters marched against the president and his policies. The protests were called before the bill was passed but it appeared as if the first step to scrapping Obamacare further incensed the protesters. Protesters chanted, what do we want? Health care. When do we want it? Now.
Others said, Donald Trump has got to go. According to a report in the New York Daily News, protesters shouted not my president, and carried banners that read dump Trump and make America think again. It said the demonstrators sent the message that, despite growing up here and having his name on buildings throughout the city, the lifelong New York billionaire is no longer welcome. A little over a month ago, attempts to dismantle Obamacare appeared doomed when the Republicans did not have enough vote. But that bill has undergone several changes to satisfy both the conservative and moderate wings of the Republican Party. Vice President Mike Pence claimed this was the beginning of the end of Obamacare. We have taken the historic first step to repeal and replace Obamacare. Describing it as a big day, Ryan said there were still a few steps left before the new bill could be signed into law. He said the problems facing Americans were real, referring to the significant jump in the health care insurance. Obamacare has failed and is collapsing, Ryan said claiming the new bill makes health care more affordable and less vulnerable. President Donald Trump cheered the passage of the American Health Care Act in the House at a ceremony with Republican lawmakers at the White House. It's dead, it's essentially dead, unless we pay a lot of ransom money to the insurance companies, Trump said in the Rose Garden. What we have is something that is very, very, incredibly well crafted. Trump also thanked the House GOP leadership specifically House Speaker Paul Ryan, for getting the bill through the House. For the last week I've been hearing, Paul Ryan doesn't have it, it's not working out with Paul Ryan, he's going to get rid of Paul Ryan, but then today I heard Paul Ryan is a genius, Trump said. The President also promised to get it through the Senate. It's going to be an unbelievable victory when we get it through the Senate, and there's so much spirit there. Trump said that Trump Sacker would scrap the measures for companies with 50 plus staff, enable insurers to charge older customers five times more, but allow young people to stay on their parents' policies until the age of 26. House Majority Leader Kevin McCarthy said the bill would give Americans greater choice and stop the current Obamacare death spiral of higher costs. But his Democrat counterpart Nancy Pelosi claimed this was one of the biggest transfers of wealth in the history of our country. Their desire to give a tax break for the rich just trumped everything.